how to create your personal website using Google Sites. That's what we are going to talk about today. So in order to create your own Google Sites, you should go to sites.google.com and when you are here, take note there is this template gallery. So in this uh, template gallery, you will be able to see all the uh, fixed templates available. So for your personal websites, if you want to use the templates, you can use maybe the student portfolio or the portfolio if you want to use the templates. They are pretty uh, nice. And uh, so if you click on one of them, okay, they, they will have some structure already created for you. So when you're here, you just need to type in your name and you can fill in your name. Uh, Role location. So this is an intro, okay, and uh, you can put in your picture here, and so there are placeholders all done for you. Selected books. So because this is a home page, so home page are uh, where you put in all the latest uh, news about you, latest works. So um, in the selected works, you can actually uh, if you don't need so many, you can delete away. So you can. Uh, uh, make some minor adjustments and uh, put in your email so that people can contact you. So um, the templates are done quite well, and uh, if you if you want to, you can. Uh, but the, but when you use these, there is a fixed structure that uh, you will follow. So uh, if you want, you prefer these to be your starting point, you can. But uh, some of the things that are not so relevant are like clients, okay. Uh, and these are uh, not a lot of things that uh, to guide you with uh, writing your your portfolio for your for your personal website. So um, we have uh, listed it, some of the things from LinkedIn that you can follow uh, on our slides, which later you can uh, look through. So um, so if you wish to, you can click on the templates and then you can try and edit it. Uh, but what we want to do today is we want to start from scratch so that uh, we have more, more control over uh, the design. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to move these to bin. So whatever, before I move this to bin, whatever we create uh, on the Google Sites is actually like a document. It will actually be saved in the Google Drive. So if you look at the Google Drive, it will whatever you create for Google Sites, it will actually be saved inside this uh this Google Drive. So that this is the website that I created just now. So it is a document, it's just like the Google Slides, Google Docs, it's a document. Okay, so make sure you move this move this document to your ICT folders. Okay, so uh, you need to put it inside a folder. Okay, in ICT folder, you create another folder for your personal website. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just uh, remove this. So once I remove, move to bin, you see that uh, it's gone. Okay, so um, I'm going to start. Okay, so uh, you may want to use the template if you, uh, but for today, we are going to use the uh, empty blank sites. Okay, so create a new site. The name for your personal website, you should put in your name. So I'm going to just put in a fake name for, for this. Uh. So I'm going to call John Doe. Okay. And uh, so this is uh, the the only page. Uh. So um, let us uh, go through the controls. So this is how you undo, redo, and uh, this is how you preview. You can actually preview your page as a computer, tablet, or mobile phone. So it, actually, the good thing about using Google Sites is that all it will auto resize for you. Oh, so templates are always uh, these uh and web engines actually help you to do all the resize, so you don't need to worry about uh the the sizing of the web page. So uh, that's for you preview and then this is for you to add uh, <coughs> this is for you to add the uh, editors so if you are going to add uh, collaborators for your website 
this is where you do so. But because it's a personal website, you shouldn't be adding uh, editors. Okay, so settings. So navigation, you can either use the top bar or you want to use the side bar. So you put side. The navigation will actually move to the side. So later you will see the difference. <coughs> then the color of the side of the navigation bar. Brand image. Okay, if you have a logo uh, during your art design media technology lesson, you probably have learned how to create a personal logo. So you can put in a personal logo and you can also use it as your favorite icon. It's shortened to favicon, but it's actually a favorite icon. So you can use two, both of them, you can use the same uh, icon. Okay. So uh, there are other tools uh, that you can use to analyze uh, who is looking at your website from what country, how many views uh, in your for your website. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna go through the other stuff. Lah. So uh, yeah, some very interesting stuff that you may want to try out announcement banner. Okay, so um so in this uh page settings and then after uh version history, so whatever editing you have done you can go back using this version history and duplicate the site okay so um then uh, this is this url here uh, is your is your editing url this is not the actual url of your uh, web page in order for your web page to be viewed by others you need to publish it so maybe you'll just publish this first so um, you should put in your first name, then your last name, or so you should you should try and uh, do it in this order. So, uh, when you look at your web address that is published, it should look like this: sites.google.com, your domain, then your uh your website address. So when you look at these, uh, this is a mouthful, very hard to give to others. This is for editing. But this is for people to view your web page. Okay. Another thing is uh, before you publish, you should publish it. Not just for the school. You should manage and change the link to uh, the draft is for who can edit it. Who can uh, edit this. You shouldn't be changing that. Uh, you should change this to public. So publish site. The site they publish it will be public these are key purpose of your website so it's your front for uh, your web presence so done and uh, you can request public search engine not to display my site uh, if that's your preference for now um, but uh, it will be good to let search engine search for your site so that mm, if uh, people want to know more about you, they search, they can find your web page. I'm going to publish this. <coughs> now we go to the sidebar. Insert is where you insert the items uh, that you are going to use. So there are a lot of items here that we later we can use to insert in. Um, then there are pages. This is where we can create uh, more pages for a web page <coughs> for websites then there are themes okay you can choose the colors for your team and the font type i think i'll go for heavy uh maybe i'll go for a darker color okay custom color also can so uh you can choose a different team uh, i think i'll just stick to this with a bold font and uh go back to here insert so this is uh, your home page and uh, home page you can design in many ways if you want to you can have a page title here if not you can uh, you can delete it away just click on this and you can just delete it away uh, we can we can uh, change the header type okay different type of header if you want to be minimalist you can use title only or if you don't want even to have a header you can just delete it away i think i'll just delete it away and uh, next for for my home page i think i will use some layouts there are some uh, 
layouts that you can use here so you can actually preview from here then you can just uh, later drag it in I think for the start I will put an image carousel so when you click on uh, image carousel we will be able to add in uh, extra uh, images let me see whether we can just drag this in mm, cannot okay maybe never mind and I will just uh, use a uh, placeholder so I use a placeholder for my uh, this uh, front home page image so you can actually set these as a uh, for images okay so you don't need to decide on what image you want to put in first also can then you can drag it okay how big you want when you drag this time it's not anywhere you drag you you stop it will you it will stop but uh, when you drag it to here you will adjust it to the the lines uh. so you need to you, you, when you adjust it it will actually fit for you then uh, this portion we can also adjust it so maybe for the start uh, I will have a banner like this okay so later I know that uh, I'll put it into this placeholder this image if you if you want to have a, if you want to have a background for this section okay you can upload an image to this section then you can put in other things to that section so they can create many type of sections um, I'm going to just leave this here first and then uh, I'm going to add in uh, this uh, layout okay so when I click on this layout you auto insert this in so I, I, I kind of like this layout uh, one main uh, image so this is the most important thing most current thing that uh, I, I want people to know about and then the latest four things that uh, I want to let people know so so this is uh, how I like to structure my uh, home page okay so so you can write also a little bit about uh, uh, what you what you want to uh, what, what is it about lah. Next, we can go to pages and uh, in the pages, we'll create a new page. We are going to call this a profile page and uh, we're going to create a portfolio. Okay, so uh, depends on how you, what you want to decide for your web page, but minimum we want to have a profile and a portfolio. So, uh, now next we will go to insert so there are a lot of uh, things that you can do you can insert text box images embedding or some some things for your google drive but think note that whatever you insert from your google drive uh, you need to set the permission such that uh, anybody who goes to your site will be able to see the 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 things that you post so one easy way is you go into uh, your incognito mode command shift n and you go to incognito mode you paste in the url and you test it out so this layout just not really talk about layout there are other things that you can use uh, collapsible text so this collapsible text you you can actually minimize it um, then we have a table of content if you want to image carousel later maybe we, i think i'll just use it now so instead of putting this maybe i'll just delete away and uh, insert a image carousel now so upload image so I think I'll just use uh, these pictures oops cannot use uh, HEIC so if you are uh, you have HEIC uh, high efficiency image uh, compression uh, then you these are from uh, iPhones so if you have these, you will need to use Automator to convert it to uh, other formats like JPEG. So I, I think I'll just choose uh, some of these. I think I'll just uh, choose four. Okay, insert. So it creates this and uh, I can actually drag it to the top. And I can resize it. Okay, and just gonna make it a lot bigger. Okay, so okay, I think it's, it's good. Then uh, you can actually adjust whether you want to show caption, whether you want to auto start uh, fast update. So the carousel will change the image uh, quite fast.
Okay, so so what is a image carousel? I think I publish this first. So before you publish, it will show you a update that was uh, currently published, and this is uh, what you are going to get. So this is uh, the carousel. So you will be able to actually change the image by clicking. Okay, so um, you can also preview by expanding out. You can see. Okay, so this is how a carousel. So when I click, 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 it will actually change the image and publish this now then publish ready they will give you a link you can click on view or you can go to here and see view publish site so publish site will be the url is different from your editing url so your publish site uh, the construct is sites.google.com your domain your site and then this is the page this is website this web page so you can don't you can leave out that web page and just copy this and give to anybody so i'm going to copy this open up in incognito and paste this in enter and uh, this is how currently my site works maybe the carousel is moving a little bit too fast we can uh, make some adjustment to it okay so this is uh, how you can create your home page next for the profile so profile, uh, you may want to add a header up to you. Okay, I try to add a header. So for this header, I think I will not have a text here. Just uh, delete this away. Then uh, I'm gonna add in a picture for this header. I think. So uh, I'm gonna look for our school. So. Uh, you can put in any image. You can even put in the image that we do for our self-portrait using Keynote, the one with a lot of uh, icon. Or, but for me, I'm going to use this. I'm going to copy the image address. So I copy the image address. I just come to here and change image. Select image by URL. Paste in. Select. It will auto-adjust lighten the colors so it's more readable okay so so later it will be you look at the more readable you can also uh, adjust the header type you want a large banner okay so up to you how you want it then uh, because we have a banner here uh, if you want to add in a profile pic you can so we can add in image okay no i'm not going to use this i'm going to use a uh, placeholder and then change this to image so later uh, then I can put this in so I just drag this to the top so I think this will be good I'll be placing my image here and uh, the banner then next for the profile okay I'm going to follow this so we already have a profile photo we are going to have a summary so we are going to add in a uh, text so you can add in okay one more way of adding other than dragging from here you can also double click okay double click you can you will see this okay instead of uh, having to go to here you can double click and come to here click on text so we can have a summary here so i'm going to just uh, put a title i'm going to call this a summary maybe if you want to you can also create one more here uh if you like uh, you can follow the style of the previous uh, template hi hi I am I am John Doe John Doe I am a year 2 year 1 student student in the school of Science and Technology Singapore. Okay, maybe something like this first. Um, we can also go to website. Maybe we can copy from uh, the portfolio. Let's just copy from there. Oh, I think it is good. Okay. So maybe I, I already format like this. I I don't do. 
a, a year one student, a student in the School of Science and Technology Singapore. So uh, this, you want to change the font, you can if you want to. I think the font is a bit small, so maybe you can change it to uh, 24. 24. Okay, so at this School of Science and Technology Singapore. So I think this is a good intro. Okay, so uh, next, I'm just going to delete away this. Okay, and next is a summary. So uh, if you want to have a you have want to have a summary, or you, you can treat this as a summary. Uh, you, you need to write a little, a lot more, I think. Uh, then we can have because uh, uh, tell people what you do and all the opportunities you are looking for. Uh, so next we have a background. Uh, or work experience or that so you may want to use uh, so if we are going to start with background maybe we type in background instead background you may want to use the collapsible text okay uh, collapsible text okay so if you are going to use collapsible text uh, then this one we will call it background and then we will just go lip sum to generate some Some random text. Okay, so maybe I'll just have uh, one paragraph generate. Okay, this is just a uh, placeholder text. So I'm gonna just copy this. Okay, and uh, paste this onto here. This uh, collapsible text. Okay, click and paste here. Okay, so this is how you look like when you click on it. You can open. So you may. You may want to use these for the major category. Huh? Then you can put in the word experience, education, volunteering experience. And then that will be uh, maybe uh, work experience. Okay, if you if you have any industry experience, you can put it in. Um, then we have the education. Then uh, volunteer experience. Okay, so so this is uh, how you can actually uh, use this uh, use this uh, Google site. You can adjust anything. So from here, maybe you think that it's too big, you can adjust it to a smaller size. Okay, and uh, if you want to put in something else uh, beside it, maybe I'll put in another picture. I can put in an image. Oops, I think I'll just use a placeholder. I think I'll just put in a placeholder. Uh, so placeholder. Uh, so, so maybe I drag it to here. Okay, so so we can and now it, it looks like this. So you can adjust uh, how you want it to look. Okay, so so that's uh, one of the good thing about uh, this Google site. Okay, so um, so these are items you can use and uh, this is how you can uh, adjust it. For next, we go to portfolio. Portfolio. So. So your your profile, you should try and follow these, and uh, if don't have, you can uh, work towards uh, having it uh. So uh, having something to write. So so um, this is also a good guide, good guide for you. Uh, for the profile, no, for the portfolio, this is where we put in uh, uh, what we what we do. So maybe I'll use uh, this as a uh, this for putting a picture of your project and uh, information about project. So maybe you want to use these uh, and maybe you want to use, uh, create some structure uh, for for your, the way you present your projects. Okay, so that's it about uh, how to use a Google site to create your personal website. Thank you very much.